Wondershare video editor tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an intro for your movie that you're making. All right, so it's actually very simple. All you got to do is um, go ahead and click on the intro or credit button here on the actual editor itself. You click on that and you will get many, many uh, intros to, to choose from. They have this one here, which is called Star One. Wonder Share uh, Video Editor Purple with like gears, kind of looks kind of robotic. They have this one here, which is um, like old English with paper stuck to a tree. They have many, many of them. They have the pl uh, plant, a curtain, like for a show or something. They have this one with the violin. They have this one, which is uh, geared more for family, a stage. We're going to use the stage one here. We're going to select that one. And all you got to do is click and drag it down to the timeline and let it go. And there we have it. So there's the intro. Let's go ahead and play it. And right now it has the default text as a Wondershare video editor. So what, we're, what you got to do is double click on the text file down here. You double click on this text file here and on the top over here a text box will appear and here you can go ahead and type in uh, whatever you're trying to say whatever your intro is going to be is where you uh, you type it in right here so we're going to go ahead and type in uh, fun at the trampoline park with an exclamation point just to make it cool. All right, and you get to choose whatever font you want here. So we're gonna choose one that's red. Red is my favorite color, so we'll go ahead and choose that one. And there it is, fun at the. Now, if you notice, not all of it fits here. So you can, since there's two text files here, or text uh, spaces here, we're just gonna put fun at the. On this one here if you notice I went ahead and deleted that uh, because it didn't fit and then here I will go ahead sorry about that I double clicked it if you want to make it full screen you got to double click it but uh, click it once and then go to the text editor on the left and uh, just type in the rest of it trampoline park and I'm gonna choose a red also fun at the trampoline park all right so let's go ahead and uh, once you're finished, you go ahead and click here where it says, it's kind of confusing, I know, but this is where you know you're ready. You go ahead and uh, click here where it says return. And now we can go ahead and, uh, there's two ways you can, you can play it from the beginning. You could click right here on the actual uh, player and click play it, or on the actual timeline, you can click down here and move the slider all the way to the left where it's zero. And then let's go ahead and play it. You just hit the play button on the player. And that's how it's going to look like. Fun at the trampoline park. Now you can also add effects to it. I mean, the thing about making intros is about making it look more cool. So if you click on the effect button here, You can add a cool little effect to it. Let's go ahead and just add a distort to it. What you do is you, you select the one you want and you click and drag it down to the timeline. A new thing will come pop up saying effect. If you notice right there, it says effect. So you go ahead and click and drag it right there. And now we're going to have an effect with it. And you can't really see it that much, but it's there. You can, you can play around with them. Let's go ahead and add uh, one that we will really see. Let's add this cool effect here. We're going to replace it. So now it's going to look kind of bluish. More, still can't see it. Let's put fire on it. Let's do this fire one. So that way we can actually see it. So I'm just clicking dragging it down there. And there we go. Fun at the trampoline park with fire. Now that looks pretty cool. That's a really cool intro. The next thing you do after you're done with your intro, you click on the media button so you can go back to your media that's where you have your video that you're gonna use or all your videos that you're gonna use and here it is there's a trampoline video I'm just gonna click and drag it down to the video section of the timeline 
and now we have a really cool intro and our video. So let's go ahead and watch that. Cool. Going at the trampoline park. And then the video starts. So that's how you do an intro, guys. And one more thing, let's go ahead and add a sound effect to it too. That's one thing we forgot to do was add a sound effect. So if you go ahead and uh, click on the sound button on there, it has a microphone on it. You can see it really easy. Click on that. Let's add, let's add some sound. Let's add. Um, let's see something that will look nice. Let's add thunder to it. Yeah, let's add thunder. So what you do is you select the audio file you want. You click and drag it down to the sound section down here on the timeline. Down here to the sound section. And there it is. Now let's play it from the beginning. Let's see how it looks. Going at the trampoline park. And then the video will start. And there it is, guys. That is how you add an intro on Wondershare Video Editor. I hope it was helpful, guys. I hope I hope this uh, video tutorial helped you guys out a lot. Uh, check out my other tutorials on Wondershare Video Editor. For example, how to do transitions and uh, many, many more videos. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next tutorial video.